What you're seeing here is a rack full of new Evolution 300 in-ear transmitters, Evolution 300 microphone receivers, Evolution 500 microphone receivers, and also receivers of the 3000 series. But let's talk about Evolution 500. This is a new receiver layout. We have improved the display. We have a much bigger display, way more detailed as before than before, and way more information. This display, for example, gives me now both bar graphs for RF, an audio bar graph. It tells me the output volume that I've adjusted in there. It tells me that the internal EQ has been set to flat. And it also tells me the battery status of my transmitter and the type of transmitter I'm receiving, an SKM500, which I feel in my hands, carrier frequency, corresponding group and channel, plus the name that I gave the receiver. If I switch to the right, this is very unique, I get the complete information about the microphone itself. It says this is an SKM500 transmitter, and this microphone on the handheld is an E935 capsule, and this capsule has a cardioid polar pattern. Its internal sensitivity has been set to minus 12 dB, and the RF power I'm using is standard, means 30 milliwatts. And on the top of the line, I see carrying frequency plus the name of the transmitter, which doesn't necessarily have to be the same name as the receiver has. If I switch back, once again, we have the uh, sound check mode, only with just a higher resolution. And if you'd like to, once again, we have the guitar tuner. Another interesting part is, let's go into the menu. We have two layers in the menu, an easy layer and an expert layer. We call it an advanced layer. And in the advanced layer, I can even define what I'd like to synchronize via infrared later on. And I can make different decisions for body pack transmitters or handheld transmitters. Because the gain setting of a body pack most of the time is different to the gain setting of a handheld. So I can choose for, let's say, the body pack transmitter. And I would say I want to have a to synchronize the sensitivity next time to minus 36. I make a cross and I know this will be synchronized next time. Or, as I mentioned, the guitar cable emulation. I could tell the system, or oh, next time I want to simulate a pretty long or medium long cable at the medium capacitance, so I will switch to medium capacitance, say yes, this has to be synchronized next time. When I hold the transmitter in front of the receiver, it will automatically find out if it's a handheld or body pack transmitter and will synchronizing the values that are needed for the equipment. So this is just the top of the iceberg at the moment, which I'm explaining you. So there are a lot of features in there. Briefly, in 300 series, very similar, just a few less preset frequencies in the banks, but the transmitters for 300 series have configurable mute switches. On the handheld of a 300 series transmitter, I can configure if the mute switch is on off, push to talk, push to mute, cuff button, or in the software, I can even disable the mute switch when I'm afraid that someone may fool around with the mute switch. Same thing counts for a 300 series body pack transmitter. There we have the chance to connect an external mute switch, which can also be configured in that way.